you got out there and defended Dan because Dan got sucked up in this and defended Lawrence. Like, take a breath. It's, you know, that he said something. Stop having such a meltdown, right? You weren't defending the remarks, but you were defending your friends and saying, could we take a breath here? We're treating this like he sexually assaulted this woman. And they were, right. the headlines in the UK have been over the top. The uniform reaction against Lawrence and Dan has been breathtaking, such an overreaction. And Lawrence did come out and say, I'm sorry, I didn't express myself the way I, I should have, but I'm the, my point stands, I'm still mad. Well, today, uh, I think today it was official. They fired him, GB News fired him. And you got fired. You got fired too. What was your sin, Calvin? My sin was loyalty. And my sin was actually believing in free speech on the channel that calls itself the home of free speech. But what it means is the home of free speech. But no, not that speech. Uh, I also was there that night, Megan. I was sat in the green room and I was watching it live. I thought, oh, oh, Lawrence, you know, because he could have destroyed her because she was in the wrong. She is a vile misandrist who hates men. And she's well known for this on all of her commentary. You know, people can check out her Twitter. She's said plenty of times, oh, I wouldn't shag him. You know, she's used the exact words that Lawrence used. Many times. And I don't think Lawrence... I don't think he should have gone to her level because that made him look like the bad guy. Whereas he could have totally destroyed her argument because this is about men's mental health and it is the biggest killer of men in this country. Suicide. No one seems to care. We have a minister for women. We don't have a minister for men. And people like this A of a woman don't think we should have one because men are, well, worthless in her eyes. And that's the story that should have been told. That's the sadness. But every single news outlet over here is saying, Lawrence Fox, misogyny. You know, I was interviewed today by Sly News. They didn't say, why were you fired? They didn't want to care about if Dan was coming back. It's just like, wasn't Lawrence Fox really misogynistic? It's like, for goodness sake, the hysteria. You know, we've had on our broadcast men being talked about in the exact same way. We've had people saying, wouldn't shag him. Nothing. No one cares. Again. So it's not about equality which is what feminism says it's about, right? The equality between men and women. It's not about that. It's about women being superior to men and men being a lesser half of the species. And that's very sad because we need men. We live in a society of fatherlessness, a society of men's mental health on the decline. We need to fix all of that. And it, this is not the approach to do it. So, so I was disappointed in Lawrence for taking that line. And I, I said this to him, but I backed him 100% and thought, you know, he has a right to do it. He has a right to say it if that's what he believes. And if we say we're for free speech... Surely he should be able to say it. nothing illegal, no incitement of violence, didn't break any laws. So why cancel him, suspend him, and fire him? But worse than that, they they suspended Dan too, and they're going to fire Dan. I'll, I'll put I'll put money on it right now. They're going to fire Dan. I think you're right. More difficult for them to fire him because he's in a two year contract, which me and Lawrence weren't in. Um, but all Dan did is host, and you saw he tried to provide some balance. He was clearly caught off guard, um, and he's, he's Lawrence's friend as well, so he doesn't want to drop him in it. Uh, so there are all these things to consider, but why is the question? Why did they want to fire Lawrence? Why did they want to fire Dan? And why did they fire me? Yeah, that is the question, and I know you've got some thoughts on it. Um, I want to get into exactly what you think is happening at GB because I, I too, have been there from the beginning. I mean, you've been there from the beginning. Dan's been there from the beginning. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I only go on once a week, so I'm not as integral, but I care about the thing. I, I've been doing it because I care about the mission and I'm concerned about what's happening right now. I can't believe that three of my favorite people there are out in one fell swoop over this, over this, you know, one moment, which again, some people may find it offensive. I didn't, um, whatever, I have a very thick skin. All right, there's less than 10 days left for Jenny Cell's incredible dark spot package sale. Go to jennycell.com slash MK60. MK60 right now and get their dark spot corrector, a must have after months of record heat and humidity with every one of their most popular packages. Sunspots, brown spots, discoloration, even those dry inflamed patches all disappear in front of your very eyes. Kimberly from Youngstown, Ohio writes in, quote, my appearance has improved so much since using GenuCell on my face. Love all my GenuCell products and my skin looks years younger. Now it's your turn to feel and look like Kimberly but there's only 10 days left to take advantage of the GenuCell most popular package, which now includes the dark spot corrector plus the classic GenuCell bags and puffiness treatment and its immediate effects product for all 70% off. Try for yourself completely risk-free. GenuCell.com slash MK60 today to start looking years, even decades younger tomorrow. All orders upgraded to free shipping. See results day one and you'll get compliments everywhere you go. G-E-N-U-C-E-L.com slash mk60, jennycell.com slash mk60. 
Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.